It's so beautiful. It's such an iconic machine and a lot of people's end game, but I'm gonna have to put it in the Hi everyone, today I'm doing a tier list of the best and worst espresso machines. And before we get started, I'm gonna base my decisions mostly on my experience with the machines, how they look, and sometimes just hearsay and spec sheets because a lot of these machines I've never used before. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna start with the machine that I use the most, which is the Rancilio Silvia. Given how old the design and how industrial it looks, it's a fantastic performer for the price. Thankfully, it has a powerful boiler for making espresso at nine bars and some pretty powerful steam as well for getting a decent microphone for latte art. I just need to do something about this. A tier. Next up is the Gaja Classic, which is very similar in price and performance to the Ranchilio Silvia. I'd recommend getting the new Classic because it has a much better Steam one than the previous one. The Steam power still isn't as good as the Ranchilio Silvia, and I prefer that one, so by definition, B tier. The Barista Express. Now this was the first machine that I ever owned and it has everything you need to get started in espresso. But then it broke after six months. The sheer number of these in the secondhand marketplace should tell you everything that you need to know. And you can't fix it or replace anything because it's all sealed and proprietary. Buy a decent grinder and start off with any other espresso machine. D tier. The Rock Espresso Maker. It's better than most semi-automatic espresso machines if you're just trying to make espresso. But you can't steam milk on it. I like milky drinks, so B tier. Next we have the San Remo Cube, which I got to try out for a few hours. It's so pretty, it has steam power for days and the design is gorgeous, except for that flimsy drip tray. But a heat exchanger for $3,400? And in Japan, it's nearly six grand? C tier. The Lamazoko GS3. Oh yeah, baby, this machine is a beast! It makes beautiful espresso, it has flow control, it steams milk in like eight seconds, it's got dual boilers, both of them have temperature control, it's got the looks, it's got the design. Oof, what a beauty. But 7,000 pounds? 7,000 pounds? I could buy a house for that. C tier. The Decent DE1 Pro. This has been on my end game espresso machine list for years. It's every espresso nerd's wet dream. You can control the flow, you can control the temperature, you can set profiles to replicate shots exactly, or you can use other people's profiles to make even better espresso and go all the way down the rabbit hole of espresso brewing. It comes with a suitcase which you can take with you when you move to another country or you go on holiday. On top of that, the people who make it are completely transparent about every step that they do to make these things including all the mistakes they've made and everything they do to fix them. S tier, baby. If anyone from Decent is watching this, please contact me and give me one for free, please and thank you. The Lilit Bianca. Whew, this one sings. That sleek, shiny wood finish. This is likely the last machine any enthusiast home brista is ever gonna need. It's got it all. The looks with that gorgeous wood finish, dual boilers, that style, the flow control, the ability to make beautiful shots and steam perfect milk for latte art. And that wood finish. S tier, what more could you want, you spoiled brat? Oh, you want the Linear Mini? The $5,400 iconic espresso machine? I can't afford it, D tier. Of course I'm joking, it's S tier. The Rocket Apartamento. It looks beautiful and it has that reliable E61 group head, but I'm just not convinced enough to buy one. I've used one a few times and it's not bad, but it's going in the B tier. It just doesn't get me excited like the Rocket Evo R. It's almost exactly the same machine, but with a rotary pump, shot timer, and steam pressure gauge, and those edges are just mm, A tier for the Evo R. The Escaso Steel Duo. I see some of you being like, what? What? Like you've never heard of this beautiful machine? Well, I just found out about it a few months ago, but I'm not really sure about the Thermoblock group for temperature control. Whatever machine I upgrade to, it's gonna have to have a lot of power for steam for latte art, so I haven't really seen enough of this one to be sure about that yet. For now, it's going in the C tier. The DeLonghi Specialista Maestro. <laughs> D tier. The Lapavoni Euro Piccola. This one just looks like a work of art. I want one for the mantelpiece that I don't have because it just looks so nice. A tier. If I missed your favorite espresso machine, please tell me below in the comments because I'm still hunting for my upgrade. I need something to replace my centuries old Sylvia, but I also need money to buy it. So if you like what I'm doing here, then you can buy one of my t-shirts or you can buy me a coffee or you can join my Patreon or something. If you're not there yet, maybe you can like this video so YouTube knows to show it to more people. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.